Hello, my name is Andrzej Jemanowski. I am born in Poland, but I live in Stockholm, in Sweden. I am visiting Israel this very week because my grandfather, Julian Andrzejewicz, he saved about 200 Jews in Poland, and his name is in the Yad Vashem. The story was that in 1940, the Germans allowed to rebuild the houses in Warsaw after the war. So my grandfather founded housing houses which were irregular. So he can build the hidden apartments for the Jews. Mm -hmm. What was he was doing? And then was ghetto uprising with a lot of friends, and one friend came to his house, his whole family, and was living under the house and opposite to my grandfather's house was a Gestapo uh, wow. office. Mm. But he mm. was he was you know he told us they would never think about it he was you know so cold blooded. Mm -hmm. But in nineteen forty three in June the mother of this guy, Blima, she died of cancer. Mm. So they took her out the body, but they didn't know how, how to do it because the Germans were the opposite. Mm -hmm. So my grandfather, he ordered the, the guy who was making the uh, windows, they put the body between the windows and they moved away. Mm -hmm. And they buried, they buried uh, her at the false name on the Catholic cemetery in, in Warsaw, mm -hmm. the different name. Now, uh, last year, her granddaughter, Barbara Johnson Blumenthal, she moved the body from mm -hmm. the Catholic cemetery to this uh, Jewish cemetery in Warsaw. Mm -hmm. So I was invited there with all my family, you know, to celebrate. So this is a short story, you know. He, my, my grandfather, he, he just, uh, you know, he was doing his job, he said. Mm -hmm. And he said, this, I knew the people, so my friends, I have to help them. Of course, you have to think that in Poland, if you help the Jews, the Panyos was not dead. Yes. The whole family was heading to death. Mm -hmm. So he was really taking the risk. But he said to me, I talked with him several times about it, he said to me, this was a war and I have to do, make my duty as a mm -hmm. human being. So, uh, you know. How long the, uh, this uh, Jewish was in uh, uh, was at in, my, in my house? In yes. his house. Yeah. From the the ghetto uprising started in '43 in I think in, in June. Mm -hmm. You know, or April. I don't remember. So he was in his apartment from 1943 from I think from April to 1944 December with the with the Soviet came. Uh huh. So it was quite a long, long time. And it was just uh, one family, uh, if I understand. No, and this family moved to my father's house, mm -hmm. my house, because there was uprising in ghetto. Mm -hmm. But he made about, he saved about two hundred Jews. Two hundred? Yeah, by building this, you know, special hidden apartments. Two hundred. Yes. Wow. He was building, and that's why he is now in this. Mm -hmm. Yad, Yad Vashem story. Wow. His name, Yulian Andrzejewicz. Wow. 200. He was an no? architect. I was architect. Yes. Mm. And he was making, you know, just making his, his job. And when it start to be the connection uh, between Yad Vashem and uh, your family? How, uh, how it's got the, the connection, how the, it start? The, the family of Jolson, who is safe in his house, they sent the paper to Israel, and he got the diploma in 1993. Ah, 1993. Yes. Ah, okay. So, he was still alive. Yes. And uh, some Jews should be there with contact with him after the war? Or? Yes. Lots oh. Of friends. Yes? Because actually he grew up as a kid in Jewish territory in Warsaw. Mm. So he could, speak, he could speak Yiddish. Wow. We didn't know, we didn't know, know the either. 
<laughs> now, one of his relatives told me that he was growing up in the Jewish territory of Warsaw in Nalewki. Mm -hmm. He was speaking Yiddish, oh. was Polish. So that's why he's got so many friends, mm -hmm. uh, Jewish friends mm -hmm. during the war, because he knew the pe people, you know, they, they knew him. Mm -hmm. They could make, you know, different things. Wow. Thank so, you. So the family jo Johnson now is, lives in New York, mm -hmm. and my daughter now is in New York, mm -hmm. studying, and she got an apartment from, from them in Manhattan. Wow. So she can stay there. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice. Yeah, and where your grandfather died? You know what? In, he died in 1989. 1989. Uh, how old is he? Was it he? was about... Uh, over, it was 91. Yes. 91? Yes. Wow, so in the war he was... How, he was, in he was the... born in 1899. Mm. So in the war he was 45. 46. 45. Yeah. And he was, uh, the, he w have uh, children, then yes. he have a family. My mother, uh, there was there were four in the family, mm -hmm. and, the, and the mother. Okay. But after the war, he was prosecuted by the communists, mm -hmm. and he was eight, eight years in jail. Eight years? And wow. And Stalin died, mm. 56 years now. Okay, wow. Very interesting. So it was, you know, that the war was over. It was over. It was not over for him. Mm -hmm. He was. He was. Did you talk that Leon told that story to Michael Shudrich? Michael Shudrich, the rabbi of Warsaw, to know the story also. 